you know Lil Juke made it. I'm struggling to put my nose ring back. <clears throat> um, I've been peeing since I got back. This is still day one. I haven't had my medication yet. Um, but, um, once they bring my medication, I might take it. I don't really want to get hooked on the medication. I'm not the type of person that really be taking medications like that. I just rather feel the pain. And then I know that I'm healing. And for me to take that... Um, Thank you. You're welcome. And for me to take um, the perks... I don't want that. I'd rather take the Tylenol if I'm in like sex, uh, excessive pain. I'm in pain, but I'm in pain. Don't get me wrong, I'm in pain, but I'm trying my best. I really wanted this for like a couple of years because you go from having a great body before kids and you had somebody that um that you thought that really really cared for you or loved you or whatever because that's not love and then once you have kids that person starts telling you oh you're fat your stomach is getting in the way and then that person start putting their hands on you. I wasn't happy with myself. And I just kept eating and eating and eating. And what a lot of people didn't know. That people who appear good at face value. People only will show you what they want you to see about them. And I didn't realize that part of this person that I was with. He's still a, he's still a great man, don't get me wrong. But he's just not great enough for me. Like, this is somebody I sacrificed everything for. And to hear words like that damaged, damaged me, like, legit. And I told myself... It's okay. And then once he started putting his hands on me, um, he was going out, cheating, and um, tell me he can get a better wife or whatnot. And I just told myself, you know what? This is not the place where I want to be. And I left him. And two years of me leaving, I learned how to love myself. I learned how to love my old body like I became so confident like I just exude happiness all over like once I got away from this person I just I was just happy I was just whole so this year I decided to tell myself I told myself for your birthday for your 24th birthday go and change a thing you don't like the kids are already grown up. I have two boys. The kids are growing up. These kids are gonna grow up and they're gonna leave. They're gonna get married. They're gonna they're gonna discover life on their own. So why why are you here uh, um procrastinating on something that you want? At first I wanted a lipo 360, but my friend, she was just like, you know what, I think you should do a tummy to because we have loose skin. I went down from two hundred and forty five pounds. All the way to my surgery day, I was 202. I had initially went down 199, but just eating and um Thanksgiving, that boat took me up to 202. So from let's say May 1st to now, which is December, December 
second. I have lost that much weight to get me to this person that I am preparing myself to be. So it's not like I didn't love my body. I loved my body before. I didn't like my stomach. I loved myself before. Just, I didn't like my stomach because it was saggy, it was hanging. Um, I already have kids. Before kids, I had a small belly, I had a flat belly. So, this was supposed to be a birthday gift for myself. But at the time, I just had too much going on. And I told myself, okay, I postponed my surgery initially. And I picked this doctor last minute. But it was a great decision. Because, um... When I had already booked with the doctor and the DR, I was so cool. I was just like, yes, I'm about to be snatched. But as time go on, as time went by, like, I wasn't questioning anything. But you know when your gut tell you, like, switch, switch. And then my mom was just like, my mom was talking about this doctor that her, her friend was going to. And I asked her who the doctor was. And when I asked her who the doctor was, she sent me the name. And right there, even before I booked, I knew that was my doctor. I knew that was my doctor. And all that, that's God. That's, that's your intuition. You listen to your intuition. Don't go to somebody just because um, they can give you more or whatever. Listen to your intuition. Because you can go to somebody who, who might, might do a great job, but something can go wrong. Anything can happen. You have your instinct for a reason, and I'm glad I followed my instinct. I'm um, sorry I got emotional, but I'm glad I followed my instinct. I'm in pain, but I think I'm good. I'm good. I love the old body before getting this new body. I did my tummy tuck. Um, I know happiness is just gonna keep exuding out. Like that's it, that's it. It's only gonna get better from this point on. It will only get better from this point on even as I'm in pain, but it will get better. So now I'm about to fight over this nose ring and I'll fight over this nose ring and try to put that shit back in. Good afternoon guys. So it is Thursday, December 3rd and I am on my way to my first post-op appointment and after that I'm going to get my massages. Um, when I get back, I'm gonna discuss like the pain level of day one because it was rough. It wasn't that rough to the point where it was like, oh my God, kill me, but it was rough to the point where you're afraid to move, you're afraid to laugh, cough, like to the point I was in tears, not because like I was that much in pain, but because when you're used to being so independent, doing everything for yourself to barely peeing on your own. So that brought me to like a lot of emotions. And, um, but the recovery house that I stayed at, they were um, amazing. Um, everybody was amazing from like the staff to the, um, my other surgery sisters, they were all amazing. I like the fact that, the, well, the people that I'm in a room with, all three of us, we, we legit sharing like everything. And which is good, cause sometimes you might forget to get something and then somebody have it. So when you come around people, you have to come around with like an open mind. Don't be so closed off. Don't be so standoffish. Cause sometimes there might be days that you would really need somebody to like cheer you up. And if you're standoffish, you're not going to get that. And I'm happy, like, being a positive person. I get to, like, 
I got the opportunity to meet and talk to a lot of the girls in the house and which was an amazing experience. But the only thing now though is um whew, going to this post op appointment. I don't know what they're going to do to me. And then when I come back to the house, I have to get my first massage. I don't know the pain level. I don't know the pain level of that massage. And when I get to my post appointment, I'm going to ask them when I can take a shower because baby, and I'm cute. Um, I'm, I'm gonna see if I can record when I'm at the post off. Wait, wait, what? At the post op appointment. And um, yeah, if I can record, that would be good. So at least they can show like my before and my after so you guys can see if not when um, I'm getting my massage done I'll try to see if the person that's doing my massage can take a video clip of like how I look after the surgery <clears throat> and then probably insert pictures of my belly I'm sure the far the first vlog that I posted um, you guys can already see um, my belly in that vlog and I it was just a video of me fooling around but gear yeah, I'm gonna catch you guys later on um, pray for me pray for me because of those damn massages because that's all that's the fear in me right now later uh, but so far I've gotten to the point where I'm asking myself like what the hell was I thinking doing this shit when the lady from the um from Julie um when she took off the binder, I legit look at myself like, what the fuck did they do? Like, what did the doctor do? And um, I was scared because that's how swollen I was. Um, I was drinking a whole lot of fluids yesterday and stuff, but you will swell like you will swell expect the swelling i just drank uh, my annika tea and um i took a shower when i got back from post-op and i got my first massage see my face the massage was not that bad it's just my nerves like being so scared of the pain was just like getting the best of me and, um, yeah, everything hurts. Y'all say things get better day by day, but it seems like things get worse day by day before it actually get better. But, um, I'm about to take a nap. I just took my pills and I'm going to take a nap. I'm very tired. I'm in pain. Um, I wish I can show you guys, like, the binder, if I can open this shit up. I'm not trying to, like, flash my coochie, but whatever. So, this is the binder right here. And, um, I got this binder from Pretty, what is it called? Pretty Girl Curves. Yeah, Pretty Girl Curves for $64. Uh, and I had gotten another one from Jolie. <laughs> I'm going to get into that in another video. Because, baby. Ooh. Got some eggs, some turkey bacon. And I have my... Um, Arnica tea. I'm trying to drink it at least three times a day because I need to see like some type of like swelling going down. And um, my surgery sister have her orange juice and what's this? Juven. And I guess it's to help your wound heal faster. I'm about to mix it with the orange juice and then drink it. And 
we're gonna drink some water too. Shit. Two days after surgery. Um. How do you feel? Like a balloon? <laughs> yo, I swear to God, yo. <laughs> like a water balloon though, like mushy. In the back. Mushy? Mm-hmm. Huh. What about the pain? Just a little dirty. When you're like standing up, right? Mm -hmm. And when I'm standing up, right? Mm -hmm. So I keep readjusting my pump thing for the drain pump, thinking it's something over there. Mm -hmm. They just all my head because I'm crazy enough to go through it. Sure. <laughs> but you, they might hold you really, really good. Your lower, your lower what back. When you're fat. Huh? That's what happens when you're fat. <laughs> God, I was so swollen yesterday. I didn't see no difference in the lipo. You still see my back roll. Remember when I was getting my massage? You, you gotta let it peel. Once it starts to go down, it'll look off better. Like you'll notice the change. I hope so. Cause I'm gonna be right back here. Re revision me, please. The normal if um your drains is like this. Mm -hmm. You can't help me, can. You see mine? This one is like. Eh. It's clear. Mm hmm. And this one's all. Right yeah, okay. Normal. Because I was getting a little bit worried. Mm -hmm. Let me see if I can stand up and show you guys what I'm talking about. It might be easier just to bring the camera to you. To my side, right? Yeah. I don't think you want to be getting up and down right now. Find it uncomfortable. Right. So this is my drain. I have two drains and um I don't want to show my coochie but yeah this is one of them and then the other one is on my left thigh um I've been draining pretty good um the fluid is not as much as before and I'm also trying to do a lot of um fluid intake I think yesterday the doctor told me that um to try to drink at least a gallon of water a day. I don't know how that is possible when I'm so swollen, but he said if you drink that amount of water, the swelling is gonna reduce like tremendously. So, let's say. So, it is day two today. Um, it's still day two. I got in my massages earlier and um, the massages was great. The um, the lady who did my massages um, today, she was great. And um, I'm about to use the bathroom. So I just wanted to show you guys exactly what I use in order for me to pee. So I use this urinal right here. And I just put it directly on my coochie. Stand <laughs> on top of the... Um, stand over the um, toilet and then I just pee. I have yet to use like the bathroom to like ha have a bowel movement. And I am low key scared to have a bowel movement, but I took, I took a laxative and Let's see, hopefully some, something happened. But this is how I look with my binder on. When this thing comes off, I feel like I'm swelling. I feel like I'm swelling. There is a pad underneath here just to give me a little bit more compression. And plus the, um, drains it stings really bad when you try to get up so my um the recovery house the lady that one of the ladies she just put a pad under to just give it a little bit more cushioning i'm still very very swollen this is just day two i yesterday i was freaking out because i was just like what what did I do to myself? 
the stomach that I had was way better than this but we trust in the process and this is it right here thank god I don't have like the leaks the bloody leaks because then that would like irritate me so bad but this is what I normally do <sighs> Today, I feel so, so much better. Yesterday, I was not even in the mood to vlog. Like, I was not in the mood to do shit yesterday. But, um, I guess it gets better as time go on. But if you don't have this right here, please get you one. Get you one. I didn't have one. My surgery sister gave me an extra one that she had. I didn't even know about it. But you live and you learn. Thank God she gave it to me before my surgery though. So we're about to go have dinner and um and just chillax for the rest of the night. I had inserted a clip of a massage that I had yesterday. Um, I'll probably like cut it short to where I was just, where I'm just showing like the swelling and stuff because I was butt ass naked and I don't want to get flagged for it. I don't want to get flagged for it. So I will insert a picture of how um, I look one day post op like you can see the swelling like oh god you can see this one all right guys i'm going to edit this vlog and this is going to be day one and day two combined